Welcome back to Visual Bucket 5.2.0 Tutorials! Yay! So in today's video we are going to be going over configs and config files and how to set up config files and how to use them in your plugin to do things like... I'll be honest, that was a lot more anticlimactic than I thought. But we do have this looping message that loop. Oh, there it goes. This looping message that loops every X amount of time, however time we want. And we're also going to learn how, how to set up our own join message, all using config files. We're going to make our own config files. We're going to use the built-in ones. And let's just get right into it. So we are going to be starting from scratch so that you guys can see every single thing that I did. Let's work on the looping message first because I think that is one of the harder ones. So first thing we need is a plugin enable so that way from the beginning of the plugin we'll be able to start this messaging thing and we need a schedule so now we are going to schedule a task every single time after the plugin enables so set the mode to repeat because we want it every single time the delay we are going to set the delay with these configs right click and we're going to say insert arithmetic because this delay is in single ticks meaning that it happens 20 times every second we don't want that many so <laughs> In order to get from 20 times per second to one minute, I just multiplied our config file number by the number, insert number, 1200. All right, so now the number, here's the part that's gonna be super fun. So we need the config value. So the value of config, what config? The configuration section. This plugin config is the plugin, is the, is the config that comes built into the plugin itself and we're going to use that to set our for this we actually need config from file so config from file what file we want the file from from directory our directory that we want is the plugin directory so it's the plugin directory right here so this is the plugin itself so anything you want to do with files it is this plugin to the plugin directory okay so the file name we are going to set this file name so i think it's something like message.yml and you'll see why we did .yml in a minute so i think the key for this will be the loop delay so loop delay so we are going to go check inside of message.yml for the key loop delay so now that we have that let's just broadcast message the message of the config file the <laughs> config value value of the same thing so we want the config from file configuration from file what file we want the file in directory what directory it's the plugin directory right here and the file name will be the same message.yml and the key we're just going to make it something like the loop message so now every one minute if we put one in here every minute that this is being called to it will broadcast the message whatever we have it set to so let's go actually make this config file in the resources so if you come over here to the plugin settings on the left side over here come down here to resource directory so this resource directory is where it's getting all of this stuff so here's where i tried to do this earlier but we're going to delete it and start again so the first thing i always do is i right click and i add a new text document i right click and i say open with notepad plus plus i think notepad plus plus is the best one and i don't know if you can do it in notepad and wordpad and all that stuff so i would use notepad plus plus if i were you come into notepad plus plus and so now we have a file inside of our resources if you come over to file and you go down to save as we are now going to save this as our message dot yml so the file that we are looking for and this .yml is the file type that plugins and config files are looking for. So let's just save that. And so now we are typing in message.yml. Let's go back to Visual Bucket real quick. So now we need a key of loop delay and we need a key of loop message. Back into Notepad++. First thing we're going to do is just document this stuff and we're going to comment on this stuff. The way that you do that is the pound key. You can type whatever you want after it. We'll type something like this is for the loop message that happens every X time. And so now we can just start actually setting this stuff so if we do the loop delay just like we typed and you put a colon everything before the colon is a part of the key so we set our loop delay to something like one and after it we can be like hey loop delay is in minutes so that people know hey it's in minutes not in ticks 
that just just to help people out so now the next thing we need is the loop message and we're gonna set the message to something like this is the loop message woot woot and that's it. So we pretty much just built a config file. So now at any point in time, you can shut down the server, come into this file and change this stuff and it changes in game. So let's go see if that worked. So here we are back in our Minecraft world and we're just gonna flow around while we are waiting for it to load. Cause I don't know how long it, well, it takes one minute and I guess I joined in at the, at the end of a minute. So, Boom, after we waited a very, very long mess minute, we got our message. This is a loop message, woot woot. So now if we wait a whole minute longer, it'll come up again. Boom, look at that. A whole minute later and we got the loop back again. So that way our delay actually did work. And uh, let's go see how it looks inside of our server folder itself. So here I am inside my server folder. And if we go down to plugins, we have all of our stuff. And we have right here the config file for the plugins. We have both our new text document text, which we can actually just go ahead and get rid of, and our message.yml. If we open up our message.yml, this has got all of our stuff in it. Let's change our message to be something a little more like what we want. So it'd be something like, thanks for joining on my server and we want it to actually happen a lot more often so since this is in minutes we can actually change it to something like 0.2 of a minute that way it happens more often so that way we can see thanks for joining my server more often and let's see if that works control save and you can go run it again also if you guys didn't know i actually started and i made my own server the link will be down in the not the link the ip address will be down in the descriptions below so let's just get right into it look at that thanks for joining my server and now it shouldn't be long before we get another one yeah, there it is. Perfect. So now let's actually go back into Visual Bucket and let's use the config file itself to set some things. So that way we're not having to like type out all of our own stuff, even though it is super useful. Let's go back. So we are back in Visual Bucket. So let's actually do something like a welcome message. First thing we're going to actually do is we're going to do a command. So this command is going to be something like prime. So what we're doing here is we're gonna actually try priming our information so that way we don't have to go through and type all of it out ourselves. We can let the plugin do a lot of the lot of the heavy stuff for us as long as it's just having to do it once. So we want to set config value. Configuration section, we are going to actually use this plugin config. The key, we're going to put join message. So this is the message that only the person will get when they join. And the value of it will be a string that will say something like, yo bro, welcome. And then all we have to do, instead of having to go through that whole save file and all of that stuff, we can just go into save plugin config. And that's all we have to do. So now this is set inside of the save plugin config. So if we go into join player join event, if a player joins, we want to send the message in the form of a string to the command sender, who in this instance is the player join person. Get the player who joined. And the message is the config value, configuration section, plugin config, key. What did we call it? The join message? Join message. Join message. And so now that's going to send every single time that you go into it. So so let's go try that out real quick. So if we type slash prime, we have now primed our thing. If we go ahead and disconnect and reconnect into the server, we should get the message, yo bro, welcome. And then the thanks for joining my server is still gonna be going through. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like in the server folder. So we are back into the inside, inside the plugins folder. You come up to config file, and now we have a couple more things. And we also have config.yml. In this file is where it has all the stuff. So our join message, yo bro, welcome. You can change this to whatever you want to. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. It lets me know that you actually want to see these videos and you want to learn more about Visual Bucket. I have started live streaming and making plugins for this world that we are in right now. So, bye.